The Detroit Lions and the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are seven-point favorites. Aiden Hutchinson, talk about a big performance yesterday. Three sacks, all in the first half of Carson Wentz. Lions offense, certainly talk about a solid performance against Washington. You know, it is Washington, so you never really know. It's Carson Wentz, you never really know. But everybody today, they looked good yesterday. Goff had a solid day. You had uh, Brown, Hawkinson, Swift. There's some real good production on that Detroit offensive side. They've scored 35 or more points in each of their opening first two games for the first time since 1970. Uh, St. Brown, nine catches, 116 yards, two touchdowns, uh, 68 yards on the ground. Real solid day out of Detroit. And then you have Minnesota, who, and we don't know what's going to happen with Minnesota until uh, tonight they play Philadelphia. We'll see how they do there. Um, They certainly gave the business to Green Bay there, at least in week one. Uh, what was that? Four sacks of Aaron Rodgers. Uh, 100, Justin Jefferson, nine catches, 184 yards, two touchdowns. So uh, talk about a statement win there in week one against a great team like Green Bay. You have to go quarterback like Rodgers. I'm not ready to trust them. It is still, we've talked about my Kirk Cousins fear. I'm still not ready to totally trust them yet. But even if they win this game, I think it'll be a close game. It's a competitive NFC North game. And I'm, I'm starting to buy the Lions. I'm starting to believe in Dan Campbell here. I'm starting to believe in this Detroit team that they'll be able to, if not win this game, make it make it ultra competitive, make it close. So I think this is going to be one of those games where it'll be a, it'll be a nip and tuck battle. Minnesota maybe wins by four, but I think the Lions cover seven points is a big spread, and I think the Lions are going to cover it here in this NFC North battle. So I think the Vikings win, but the Lions cover. So give me the Lions plus seven.